Hi, I'm Katie. Welcome to a new hair tutorial. We're going to be starting with a center parting and we're going to make a panel on either side of that parting. These panels are going to be a rectangular shape, so straight across in the back. All the rest of your hair pull aside and clip out of the way so it doesn't get in your way while you're braiding. Now we're going to brush all this hair straight back so it's nice and smooth and prepared for you to start braiding without getting tangled. The key to this is to make sure that each strand and each stitch going into the braid is as small as possible. This is a French braid, so these strands are going over the middle strand as opposed to under. So you can see I'm grabbing up a small section each time, adding it in, and moving to the other side and doing the same. Pulling the braid slightly back, but not severely back. We want it up a little bit. If we pull the braid too far backwards as we're braiding, we will use up the hair too quickly and the definition just won't be there. Once I got to the back, the easiest way to anchor this braid securely and to make sure nothing is sticking out is to make sure your last stitch that you add in is from the inside, so from the center parting. And now braid your hair down as far as you'd like to go. You can go down just a little ways, halfway, or the whole length of your hair, whichever you think looks good on you. I find it leaving at least five to six inches unbraided if you have very long hair gives the illusion that your hair is even longer than it really is. Not that I need any help in that area, my hair is ridiculously long. So now move over to the other side and do the exact same thing. Again, making sure the panel is straight across in the back matching the other side. If you need any help with wispies, you can use just a touch of water here, but I'm going to show you how to anchor those down in just a minute. I love argon oil for the hair. It is so good for all hair types. Just warm up a few drops in the palm of your hand and smooth down any flyaways. This is a very sleek look, and so the oil really helps with this. You just put on a little bit and that way you don't get an oily look, but you get to keep every hair where you'd like it to stay. And this way we don't have to use any sticky hairspray. There's the final look. I think I'm going to add one final touch. You can see these temporary tattoos here. They're called flash tattoos. You can get them on eBay for just pennies sometimes. A little bit of that will stick to either your hair or your hair elastic. Just peel off the backing, add a little bit of water, hold into place on where you'd like to apply it for just a few seconds and remove the paper and there you go, adding a little shine. I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Thanks so much for watching.